know, every single person that comes to Personalized Fitness is different. Therefore, every program that we do is different. And I have told you before that everybody comes to us for the same reason. That's the first podcast I ever did. Everybody comes to work out for the same exact reason. That is, they're looking to make themselves feel better about being themselves or reach what we call their level of wellness. But, you know, there's also another common trait, especially with resistance training, that everybody experiences. That is holding your breath. Yeah, I'm sure you've noticed it if you've worked out before and you've probably been told by your trainer to, to breathe. Well, did you know that this is actually a safety response that your body does? But it's one that we should fight. Covering the Vasalva maneuver today on the Personal Edge Fitness Podcast. Good day and welcome to the Personal Edge Fitness Podcast. My name is Garrett Williamson, president of Personal Edge Fitness. I'm your host today. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Personal Edge Fitness Podcast. And thank you very much for the questions that we've gotten about uh, uh, other shows. Uh, this one actually came, uh, the, the reason for this show came from a question from a listener. So if you have any questions concerning uh, this show, any others that we do, or as always, anything that would help you dispel the myths of health, fitness, and wellness, please contact us, area code 251 278 that's 251-278-EDGE. You can also reach me, Garrett Williamson, at Garrett, G-A-R-R-E-T-T, at personaledgefitness.com. That's my email address. And also personaledgefitness.com, of course, is our website and our Facebook page. Hit me up on at Team PE if you're interested on Twitter. And I'd love to handle your questions. Now, the, uh, the, I can't believe all these years have, uh, have gone by and all these episodes have gone by, and I've never covered this particular topic. But uh, I had a client ask me, about why, why do I have to, they feel so bad that why do I have to constantly remind them to breathe when they're exercising? Why do they hold their breath? Really thought something was wrong with them. And I, and I began to think about it. You know, th- that's something that a trainer, especially trainers that have a degree in the field and know what's going on, um, are constantly reminding clients to breathe. And I have seen quote unquote trainers, and this is typically weekend certified trainers that don't have a background in exercise physiology, um, get mad at clients. I told you to breathe, breathe. You need to breathe. You need to breathe. I've told you to breathe. And uh, uh, what they what they don't understand is what exercise physiologists understand. This is a natural response that the body has. It is a it is there's actually a te- there's a name for it. This is something we discovered years ago. This is called the Vasalva maneuver. Now the Vasalva maneuver was named after an Italian anatomist, uh, Antonio Mario. Vasalva. I had to go look that up. I was always curious where that name came from. But Vasalva maneuver involves taking taking a breath and holding it, and then you're actually holding your breath the entire time. But you, it, it, in this maneuver, though you may not realize it, you're exhaling while keeping your mouth and nose closed. So you are, in essence, holding your breath, but you're trying to exhale while holding your mouth and, and, and nose closed. And what that does, that, can cause, that causes a buildup of pressure in the chest cavity and actually helps stabilize your spine. But by doing that, it can actually, you can actually garner a bit more strength. Another thing that it does is it shuts down the, the lung function. And uh, obviously, because you're holding your breath, and you're doing some exhaling, but you're but you're but you're not really doing a whole lot of expanding and contracting of the lungs, which requires a lot of energy, and your body knows this. But you do this automatically. I know that uh, a lot of people, it, a lot of my clients feel so bad because I have to constantly tell them to breathe, and I always tell them, "Hey, look, it's a natural response. We're fighting your body's natural tendency. It's okay. It's not bad." But everybody feels bad, and they feel they feel, for lack of a better word, stupid. Because they, but they, because they keep holding their breath, and like I say, this is a natural response. Your body is trying to do a couple things. One thing is trying to build up pressure in the chest. It's trying to build up uh, pressure in order to increase strength. The other thing it's doing is it's protecting the spine, so it's stabilizing the spine. And your body, your 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 subconscious, feels like this challenge, which is the lift itself. This challenge is temporary. And we're just going to get to this challenge and we're going to stop. And so while we're going to do that, I'm going to do this temporary thing of shutting down the oxygen, shutting down the expansion and the contraction of the lungs. I'm going to build up this pressure in order to brace the back and, and, and gain a little bit more strength um, just to get through this, this challenge, this temporary challenge. 
What your subconscious doesn't know is what your conscious knows. This is rep number four, and you're going to do ten of these. And so we're repetitively uh, challenging the body, so the body keeps doing this automatic response where you continue to hold your breath. And this is why it's so dangerous. Now, now, I told you it was at the beginning of this, this was actually a safety thing. Yeah, it's a safety valve that your body has. Let's say you're, you're back at Neanderthal, man, and uh, when fight or flight is a real thing, uh, it's a real thing now, we call it stress, but fight or flight, uh, basically you see a, 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 an animal that's going to attack you, and either you're going to fight it or you're going to run. And so those automatic responses happen. Well, these automatic responses, let's say there's a heavy rock on your foot, you've got to lift it off. Well, that Vasalvin maneuver is there to support you and actually gain strength so you can get through this very short adversary, adversity. Excuse me. Um, in lifting, that's not the case. This is a controlled environment, even though it may be a heavy or challenging lift that you're doing, but you're in a controlled environment. And so you're not in this, uh, well, fight or flight stat status. You're not in this temporary, I've got this major challenge that I have to get through. And so we need to learn to control that because we still have that, that, um, that, uh, mammalian brain that that uh that that, that prehistoric like i don't shouldn't say prehistoric but uh but george carlin called it reptilian brain um we still have those automatic responses there so we're you're, so your body is going to when you're doing a heavy lift it's going to shut off oxygen and 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 and, and, and act to engage the vasalva maneuver why is this so dangerous why, why am i even bringing this up well a couple of things um by shutting off the oxygen you're actually Cutting off blood going to the circulation, which inhibits uh, muscle growth. That's one thing. But far more important, um, the, 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 the negative effects of a solvent maneuver far outweigh the, the positive effects of this. Because um, what is happening is you're actually you're causing a sudden increase in the pressure, which, in the pressure in your body, which can cause a severe drop. In blood pressure. This is why when you do a heavy lift like that and you're engaging in the Vasalva maneuver, you're holding your breath, well, you're, you, you will actually sometimes be dizzy or lightheaded afterwards. That's because you have a sudden drop in, in blood pressure. Also, um, this is why when some people have surgery or have, so have minor surgery, especially on the, on the eyes or the face or what have you, um, they'll, they'll, they'll tell you not to lift, not to do any kind of lifting because the Vasalva maneuver actually causes pressure on the eyes, on the ears. Um, it, it causes pressure, pressure in, the, in, the, um, uh, in, your, in your veins, which can actually uh, cause cardiac problems. Um, you can actually uh, 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 force a stroke by by engaging in the Vasalva maneuver, so I had a I had a buddy of mine that I was lifting with back in um at Georgia when I was in the on the track team, and he was going for a max lift on the bench press, and he had somebody spotting him that didn't really didn't know much about lifting, didn't know didn't know how much help he needed, and didn't help him enough, and he and he sat up from the lift and just grabbed the back of his head, and um, what had happened there, and, and that's it, it, thank God it didn't go any further, but he strained him. Uh, basically strained a blood vessel in his head was the way it was described to him. And this could possibly cause cause problems down the road for him. Um, and so it's, the solve maneuver is actually actually very dangerous. So. But it did say that it, there's a safety mechanism, the fact that it does uh, brace the spine. And that's true. Uh, by building up the pressure in the abdominal wall and in your torso, you're actually forcing pressure and you're, you're stabilizing that spine. Well, there's another way to do that, much, much safer. And actually... By practicing this technique, you can start training yourself to, to um, react like, sort of like a Pavlov's dog. Um, if you know the story of Pavlov's dog, he taught, Pavlov taught his dog to salivate when he rang a bell by ringing a bell every time he put food out. And you can teach yourself that. Or you can train yourself that every time you go to lift. If you constantly practice this breathing technique, you can, you can train yourself like Pavlov's dog and start every time you go to lift, you start breathing like this. But, but in order to protect the spine, there's something called known as abdominal bracing. And what happens is, think about in a lift, Typically, when we're giving somebody a breathing pattern, when they're lifting, we're telling them to exhale on the exertion. Because you actually, when you do the Vasalva maneuver, you are, like I said earlier, though you're not really breathing, you're holding your breath, but you are exhaling, you're exhaling it with a closed mouth and a closed nose. 
So you're typically on the exertion or the positive of the exercise, the, the concentric contraction, you're typically exerting, you're exhaling anyway. Just open the mouth, open the nose, and exhale that way. But as you exhale, tighten your abdominals. So it's like the, if you, if you think about belly breathing, it is the breathing out on belly breathing. But when you breathe out, you're actually tightening your abdominals at the same time. If you practice this right now, you'll notice that it's actually, it feels very normal to do. Exhale, exhale, and tighten your abs at the same time. It almost feels like you're forcing the air out by tightening your abs. But while tightening your abdominals, even the superficial muscles that you see on top, you're also going to hit those transverse abdominals, the ones that people talk about when they're doing core exercises and they're doing planks and what have you. They're talking about the transverse abdominus. That was very in vogue in the last, it's still in vogue pretty much, but for the last uh, 15, 20 years, it's been very much in vogue talking about working your transverse abdominus. So if you tighten your abs, you're going to work, you're going to fire that transverse abdominus, which is right up next to the spine, you're actually going to stabilize the spine. So you can inhale on the eccentric contraction if you're lowering the weight down, and then exhale and abdominal brace at the exact same time on the on the um, the concentric contraction on the exertion part of the lift. If you practice that, you'll notice that you start getting you start feeling the same strength effects that you do from the Vasalva maneuver. It's just much more, much safer. Though you're causing pressure in the abdominals, you're not causing pressure in the veins. You're not causing pressure on the, the eyes, on the ears, and what have you, because you're relieving pressure by exhaling. You're not holding, you're holding your breath and forcing, forcing air against a closed, um, closed orifice and uh, therefore causing pressure. Uh, the pressure is coming from a fire in your abdominals. If you get in a repetition of slowly doing that, you know, not doing fast repetitions, but slow repetitions, so you can practice abdominal bracing as you exhale. If you do that every single time, you really force yourself consciously to do that, pretty soon it will become subconscious. Because the main reason it becomes subconscious is that you feel stronger when you do that bracing in any kind of lift. Doesn't matter if it's a lat pull down, matter if it's a squat, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter the lift, abdominal exercises. Um, abdominal bracing is, is, is extremely important. But the one thing I do get a, a bit irritated with, um, and I'm sorry to, to go negative on this, is and, and, I, and I happened to see this, I happened to see this about a few months ago when I was visiting somewhere and I was actually working out in a gym. And I always like working out in different facilities and seeing, you know, uh, different techniques, different different uh, equipment, different different gyms. This is my business, so I love seeing the way people run things. And I have to tell you, I have a, like, people like to do people watching. I have a sick fascination with watching how, quote-unquote, trainers are working with people. And the reason I always use the quote-unquote is that every single trainer at the at Personal Age Fitness has at least a bachelor's degree in the field of either exercise science, physiology, kinesiology, sport medicine, athletic training. I, I don't think anybody should be training that does not have a degree in the field. It is extremely dangerous, and, and the Vasalva Maneuver is just one example. But the thing that irritated me, it irritated me was I was actually watching a, a weekend certified trainer because I actually asked him about it. Um, watch them getting on to their client about not breathing, getting mad at them. And the client said, I'm sorry, gosh, I'm so stupid or whatever. And they were perpetuating this. They were perpetuating this by pointing out, I tell you all the time and you don't do it and whatever. Like, like, like because they don't understand this is a natural response and why the body does this. They need to understand why the body does this so they can train it the other way. I'm sure besides just telling them to breathe, they didn't tell them about ab abdominal bracing. They didn't tell them about what is going on in the body because, quite frankly, they didn't know. And this is why this is why I think training without somebody that has a degree in the field is, is, is highly dangerous. So don't beat yourself up. There's no money in that. <laughs> it's one of my favorite quotes from Tombstone. You know, I'm not going to fight you. There's no money in that. There's no money in that. There's, no, there, 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 there's no, no money in beating yourself up. There's no good that's going to come out of that. There's negative reinforcement. It's not the way to go about it. Instead... Understand that it is a natural response. Understand what your body's trying to do. It is trying to gain strength, and you can do that. You can do that in a very effective way. And by the way, it's a way that actually works your abdominals. It's actually a fantastic way to quote unquote work your core. And that is doing abdominal bracing through the exhale on a concentric contraction in order to combat the automatic Vasalva maneuver. 
Hey, if you have any questions about this particular podcast, or if you need help with that, you need help with somebody walking you through doing abdominal bracing through lifts, we'd be more than glad to work with you. Please give us a call at area code 251-278-3343. That's 251-278-EDGE. You can also reach me at Garrett, G-A-R-R-E-T-T, at personalizedfitness.com. Uh, for those of you that have questions for Katie, uh, you can reach her at Katie, K-A-T-I-E, at personalizedfitness.com. That is our website. And, of course, our Facebook page. Hit me up on Twitter at, at Team PE. I'd love to hear from you because, really, beating yourself up about the Vasalva maneuver doesn't help you move forward. Understanding what it is, working with a professional that knows the difference. I'll have to call my wife back in a minute. Working with a professional that actually knows the difference and understanding the correct way to do abdominal bracing. It's just one more way we help you reach your level of wellness. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'll see you next time.